AMD has the opportunity in their hands to finally take some market share. Let's talk about. In this video, I'm going to show you the latest news about the 9070 series performance leaks and spoiler alert, they look really good. And some extra news about the AMD. Finally, NVIDIA is facing problems with the RTX 5000 series like the missing ROPs, melting cables, black screen, and crazy GPU shortage with the scalping prices. Are you positive with the upcoming 9070 series from AMD? Do you think AMD will lose the opportunity to take some market share? Let me know in the comments below. Let's start with the best, 9070 series performance leak. Video card just leaked the performance for the 9070 series and it's really good. 42% faster on average than the 7900 GRE in 4K. As you can see in this article, they have a graphic here. First, then this side of the graphic is the 9070 No XT. As you can see in 1440p, the average is 20% better than the 79GRE. And just observation, the biggest numbers in difference is with the ray tracing performance. And in 4K, 21%. If we go to this side of the graphic, is the XT version, and the jump is really good. In the 1440p, 38% in performance. In 4K, 42% in performance. But as you can see, the highest numbers, again, is in ray tracing. Probably the ray tracing from the 9070 series is way better than the previous generation. If we take these numbers and go to tag power up, and take the 79GRE as a base. As you can see, around 40% performance will match the performance of the 7900XTX. Do you think that's true? Do you think we're going to have 7900XTX performance with, with less money? Let me know in the comments below. Video cards also leaked the transistor counting from the RX9070 series with 53.9 billion of transistors. And the interesting part, the transistor's density is higher than the 5080 and the 5070i. That's really nice. AMD just announced they updated the fluid motion frame 2.1. This technology is very popular because it boosts the game performance with upscale and frame regeneration, and is very useful, especially for the old games. Also, in March 4, we have the reviews for the 5070, and the day after the reviews for the 9070 series, you'll be definitely a very good week for us PC gamers. Talking about the NVIDIA, we have the first 57 non-TI leaks in Geekbench, and seems to be 20% slower than the 5070i as expected. As you can see, the score in OpenCL and Vulkan represent a synthetic benchmark. But what takes my attention in this article, they compare with the RX9070 series and seems to be a bit slower than the 5070, non TI. But feature cards mention that's not a real world performance and everything can change with the official drivers. And I have some extra news from NVIDIA. Unfortunately, bad news. Looks like some models from the 5000 series has some GPU with missing ROPs or raster operation pipeline units, which handle tasks like blending and eight aliasing. And these missing ROPs take up to minus 4.5% in performance from your GPU. Imagine pay scalping prices with over $2,000 and finally get your shiny 5000 series and the GPU has some manufacturing issue. What do you think about? Let me know in the comments below. And this hop problems is not just the 5090. Looks like the 5080 and the 5070i also have the same problem. And do you remember the melting cables from the 4090? Yes, we have the same problem with the 1490, the 5090 and the 5080 as well. Looks like NVIDIA is not able to sort this problem. And the, we have several reports with melting cables again. And the problems are not over yet, unfortunately. This time we have black screen complaints. And the worst part is related to latest drivers from NVIDIA. And even worse, can affect not just the 5000 series, can affect the 4000 and 3000 series as well. And according here to video cards, the solution is to go to your motherboard BIOS and change the PCI Express configuration 5.0 to 4.0. But I can give another information for you. Do you know that PCI Express adapters you can use to put your video card vertically? 
don't use that adapters or buy a 5.0 adapter that's another solution as well and with all this problem as everyone know we are facing a crazy gpu shortage basically don't have stock and the prices when you have stock are completely mad with the 5070i in some retails with way over thousand dollars 5080 reaching over two thousand dollars and the 5090 the sky is the limit where well, nvidia you need to sort this problem as well and that's it for the video thank you very much to be here and now i'm going to give my opinion selfie nobody care for your opinion you are just a shitty small youtuber with 20 selfie subscribers okay i'm going to give you the opinion anyway so if amd come with a good product and i believe they have a good product stable uh, uh, drivers and with aggressive price i truly believe you'll be a good option for us gamers but do you think i believe amd is going to do this i'm 50 50 50 percent i i believe 50 percent not if you watch my very first video about AMD radio, I was not believing at all. And looking at all this information now, I'm starting to get a bit more positive. But you see, let's see the, the, the pricing, the stock. I hope it don't be shortage like we are facing with Nvidia. And gamers can put their hands in these GPUs. And to be honest, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos as well, I'm seriously thinking to get a 9070 XT. I have a living room computer, and in my living room computer is with the 3070 from NVIDIA, of course, and is struggling in 4K. I have my living room computer attached to one TV, 4K TV. And I just can play some games like Diablo, some games is not super demanding, you know? And I really would like to have more option and more power in my living room PC. So that's it. Finally, the video is over. Thank you very much to be here in the end. Basically, nobody come here in the end. And if you're here, let me know. I am in the end. So subscribe, give me a like, give me a feedback. I really need feedback and subscribers. What do you think about the video? If you have any complaint, but please just be polite, okay? I'm really putting effort to make these videos. And thank you very much again. See you next time.